We believe in God, the Eternal Father, and in His Son, Jesus Christ, and in the Holy Ghost. The plan of the Father was implemented by the Son, that we may have the Spirit of the Holy Ghost. The way of the Father is the way of the Son. He said, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Only God can bless us. Only He can sustain us. Only He can cause our heart to beat and give us breath. Only He can preserve and protect us. Only He can give us strength to bear up the burdens of life. Only He can give us power, knowledge, peace, and joy. Only He can forgive our sins. Only He can heal us. Only He can bring us back into the presence of the Father. And He will do all of that and much more if we but remember Him to keep His commandments. What then shall we do? We will remember Him to keep His commandments. It is the only intelligent thing to do. John the Baptist said that while he baptized with water, Jesus baptized with the Holy Ghost. Nothing in this life is of greater worth than the supernal gift of the Holy Ghost. It is the source of joy, peace, knowledge, strength, and every other good thing. With the Atonement, it is the power by which we may be changed and made strong, wherein we are weak. It is the power by which the Lord makes Himself manifest unto those who believe in Him. Every good thing depends on getting and keeping the power of the Holy Ghost in our lives. Everything depends on that. To that end, the Lord entered a garden called Gethsemane where he overcame sin for us. He took upon himself our sins. He suffered the penalty of our wrongs. He paid the price of our education. I don't, I don't know how he did what he did. I only know that he did. And that because he did, you and I may be forgiven of our sins that we may be endowed with His power. Everything depends on that. What then shall we do? We will take upon us the name of the Son and always remember Him and keep His commandments which He has given us, that we may always have His Spirit to be with us. Everything depends on that. One of the most popular and attractive philosophies of men is to live life your own way. Do your own thing. Don't let others tell you what to do. Be yourself. But the Lord said, I am the way. He said, follow me. He said, what manner of men ought ye to be, even as I am.